Good afternoon everyone. My name is Shilbha Sharma. I am your teacher and I am going to tell you more about the children of God. Our subject moral science. So in this slide we are going to revise the chapter the children of God and do a bit of question and answer. So uh, the chapter is all about Munni, a sparrow, and then little sparrow. They both were friends. Their nests were on a big banyan tree. This big banyan tree was inside the green forest where students used to go for study tour. One day in the evening, both the sparrows looked up in the sky and sang. Gentle breeze here and gentle breeze there. Who pointed the sky above? Beautiful sky with lovely view. The gentle breeze embraced those beautiful little sparrows and replied, Painting of this beautiful sky is a world gift of God. Red and blue and green together painted by the creator. Here, the creator stands for the God. The sparrows were happy. They loved to be called the loving children of God, the creator. Which means they liked it when they were called the loving children of God because they would pray and believe in God. Students of class 5 came to the green forest which Madam, with Madam Flora. All the students sat comfortably on the carpet. The little birds and the cool breeze came around them. Madam initiated a discussion with the students. So in this whole scenario, in the green forest, Madam Flora took all the class, class 5 students to have a normal picnic. All the children, they were sitting comfortably on the carpet, not on the grass. The little birds and the cool breeze came around them. And that is when the teacher... Miss Madam Flora initiated a discussion with the students. Dear students, shall I tell you something? About 200 years ago, there was a great person who had the grace to call God his father. He was sent courier course. Elias Shavara. Saint Shavara always prayed to God, calling Abba my father. So there was this person called Saint Shavara who was very beloved of God and who believed in God very well. So he decided to call him Abba. In normal language, Abba, Baba, Papa, all of these words stand for only one word, which is the Father, which means Saint Shavara had decided that his Father is his God. God is Almighty. How can we call him Father? Children were in confusion. They thought that our father is at our home. How can God be our father? All people do not address God as father. Children, by which name do you address God? So, Madam, the teacher told them that all the people do not address God as their father. So by what name do they address him? 
Ma'am, so shall we say God is our creator? So one of the students asked Ma'am if they can call the God the creator. Teacher said, God is our father and creator, which is true, right? He is the one who has created each one of us, who has created this whole universe and our planet Earth. Wow, we all are God's children. Children were happy. The teacher asked, do you remember our prayer song? Our Father who art in heaven? Then the students reply, Yes, ma'am. All of them shouted in chorus. So, let us bring together this song. So, we pray to our dad in heaven. Divya explained loudly. Divya is one of the students of the class. It is time to go back. Shall we sing what we learned today? The teacher asked that they should go back. Otherwise, it will be dark in the dark forest. So she asked if they should sing what they have learned so far. So the students started with these lines. You and I God's own children. We are all God's loving children. God, the Father, the Creator of us all. And we call Him loving Dad. Brothers and sisters, we all are. Let us make a heaven on earth. Sharing, caring, Loving now, God's own nature, doing good. So it means that you and I, all of us are God's own children. All of us are, are loved eagerly by the God. God is the creator of us all and we call him loving dad. Yes, we call our dad father, which is who is a human, but who has created your father, the God himself. So he is the creator. Then the students request their brothers and sisters that we all should make the earth a heaven, not a hell. We should help each other to make it a better world. We should share, care and love each other because this is God's own nature of doing good. God always does good to us, right? The children move towards the pond. Little bird said bye-bye and flew away and the gentle breeze went along with them. So this is the chapter of the children of God and this is what we have learned so far. Now let's have a look at the question and answers. Question 1 states, what did the cool breeze say to the sparrows? The cool breeze said to the sparrows, painting of this beautiful sky is a wonderful gift of God. Red and blue and green together painted by the Creator. So this is what the cool breeze said to the sparrows. The next question is, how did Saint Shivara address God? Saint Shivara addresses God as Abba my father which means that according to him the god is the ultimate father for each one of us he is the creator the one that you call your dad or your father he 
even he also has been created by the god god has created nature animals birds humans all the living beings on this earth he has been taking care of us like our own father this is why sanshivara addressed god as abba means his father a father loves his children a lot and he can never ever hurt them this is what our god tries to do he never hurts us because ideally he is just like our father who has created each one of us this is why he is being called as the father the next question is how can we make heaven on earth the answer is we can make heaven on earth by sharing caring and loving each other this earth is a very common place but it can either be made heaven or hell this is our choice and we should choose to make the earth a heaven and how can we do so we can start sharing our things with people who are in need we should take care of them who need our support and we should always always love each other this is the only way that we can make heaven on this earth suppose students sometimes what happens is that you tend to have a fight with your friend or your siblings or even sometimes with your parents but that upsets you a lot no one is ever happy after having a fight with someone they are always upset sad angry anxious so what should we do to eradicate this feeling what should we exactly do to remove this emotion we should use love and care we should be polite and gentle to people this will be the only way to make this planet a better place a heaven for everyone now the next question is how can we make heaven on earth another answer might be we can make heaven on earth by sharing caring that you already know let's move ahead with the next question which is what are the characteristics of the children of god in the answer you can see there are two characteristics of the children of god and they are we should always respect others so no matter whether they are younger or older to you you should always pay respect to them because each and every person deserves to be respected the next is we should help the needy and always speak the truth to each other yes as the answer in the previous question states that we should make this earth heaven by sharing caring and loving so when we start doing these things we automatically become very polite and humble so we should help the needy and always speak the truth by humble we will gradually become honest we would not appreciate to lie to someone 
and this is a great way to be having one of the characteristics of the children of god thank you so much for listening to me all of you please exercise these questions and answers at home god bless you